Following the remarks by President William Ruto, in short, they're saying we aren't scapegoats for wage bill reduction. Well, the impasse continues. Away from that, the family, which lost six members in the Salama road crash in Makweni along the Nairobi-Mombasa highway, has lost yet another member who has been receiving treatment at a Nairobi hospital. Seven-year-old Joyce Mudoni, who has been in and out of ICU, succumbed Sunday morning, the family holding a memorial service for the seven today in Nakuru. Separately, four people died and eight others left nursing serious injuries after the bus they were traveling in overturned at Nidhi Bridge along the Meru Embu Highway mid-morning Sunday. Ken Gashuhi with that report. Tears and pain as mourners grieved the death of seven members of a Nakuru family during a memorial service held at PCA Church Lanette, Nakuru County. The family lost six members on the spot in the freak accident that occurred on Monday night at Salama area, Makweni County, along the Nairobi-Mombasa Highway. The number of relatives who lost their lives in the accident however rose to seven Sunday morning after seven-year-old Joyce Mudoni, who has been in and out of ICU, succumbed, bringing the total number of fatalities in the accident to 12. That is our slogan. Liche ya mambo yote ya mefanyika maana kuwapoteza wapendo wa uh, sita. Na leo hii asubu ya leo yule ambaye alikuwa katika ICU ametuwaja. Yule mdogo ambaye alikuwa kale na hospital. Sasa tunaongeza idadi. Among the family members who lost their lives in the accident include Irene Mudoni and her three children Lemi Macharia, Joyce Wairimo and Joyce Mudoni. Francis Mwangi, Esther Nyambura and Esther Wanjiru also died in the accident, while three other family members are still admitted in various hospitals with serious injuries, among them Shadrach Mbao who lost his wife and three children in the accident. Kando na zile running course za kila siku na itaji karibu milioni ine. Pesa ambazo zina itajika. Kabla sasa hatuja esabu ambayo ya mejiri siku hiya leo, Na yale ambayo pengine yataendelea kufanyika kwa sababu ya bila ambazo zinaendelea kuongeza. Lakini jambo moja nataka kusema ni kwamba together we are better. The memorial service was attended by among other leaders, Water Cabinet Secretary Zakari Njeru and Nakuru Deputy Governor David Kones. Tumuombe mwenyezi mungu, aweze kutufariji, na tujue ya kwamba chochote ambacho kinatendeka, anajua sababu yake. Sio familia beke, beke yao, sio kanisa, hata sio county, ni national government. This is a national issue. Kwa sababu kupotesa watu kama hawa, sio kitu raisi. Family and Magereza team tungeaomba, tutafute counselors kwa sababu of the two officers. Mbao, amepoteza ototo wake watatu na mke wake. The funeral service for the seven members will be held at their Karirikani home in Kuresoi North on April 16, with the family appealing for financial support from well wishers. <laughs> Meanwhile, four people died earlier today after a bus belonging to Ken Silver Company in which they were traveling in rolled at the Nidhi Bridge along the Meru Embu Highway. According to the Rakanithi County Police Commander Zakias Ngeno, eight other people were seriously injured and were rushed to Chuka and Chogoria hospitals. The cause of the accident is yet to be established. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News. Away from road carnage, and now the government has assured Kenyans working and living abroad that the country's 